Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well today we're going to sort of vertically align a module in Divi and it's really easy to do. So let's start by creating a new page. I'm going to go up to new. I'm going to go to page. And I'll give it a name. I'll just call it V1 I guess for a vertical one. And I'm going to use the Divi Builder. And I want to build from scratch. And I'll just put one column in there. And inside that column, let's put a countdown timer. I'm just going to leave it like that. The Divi theme just keeps getting better and better. It keeps adding more and more features and getting easier and easier to use. If you're building any sort of WordPress site at all, I do suggest you check it out. And if you want to take it for a test drive, you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. So there we've got a little section right there, Let's, a little module right there. Let's put something behind our background here and give it some height so we can vertically, vertically align this center. So here's our section, green one's the row, dark one's the module. So in the section, I'm just going to go down I'm going to give it a background color and let's chuck an image in there why not anyone will do let's put that one there and you can't see the image well you can see the image but now you can't see the color so let's go down and blend and let's just multiply there we go it sort of multiplied the color and the image together get some great effects using that background image blend you really can sort of play around with it you really do get some good effects but I'm gonna leave it on whatever that was multiply okay now let's give our section some height so that we can actually position the module in the center of it so if we go over to design and sizing if you wanted to give it a full screen height you could say 100 VH viewable height and as you can see that makes it full screen don't want it quite like that because it because of the nav bar at the top it's going to push it further down than I want so I'm going to say say 80 VH 80% 80 of the viewable height that's fine so we've got a section that stretches from here to here let's just save that and really easy we're going to use what they call flex to do this I mean, you could use padding to just push it down there, like is, is the sort of traditional way. For instance, if I go into this row and go to the design and spacing, I could put padding just on the top here, let's say 400 pixels or something, or I could use a percentage a little bit too far. Or you can use a percentage, let's say 20%. And again, that's way too much. We're about 10%. That's actually not too bad. But we're not going to do that today. We're going to use some flex. So I'm going to delete that. We're actually going to go into the CSS module and just write a bit of CSS. And don't worry about copying the CSS. I'll put it below the video. You're welcome to use it. So we've just got our section and our little thing right at the top here. But we want this to be right vertically centered on our page. Let's close the row out. Let's go up to our section and we'll go to the advanced in the custom CSS to the main element. And all I'm going to write is display flex. And that'll probably actually do it. There we are. And as you can see, this module has jumped down to right vertically in the middle right here which is exactly what we want could leave it there but just to make sure there's no confusion let's say flex direction column semicolon like i say i'll put this down below that'll ensure that that stays vertically centered which is awesome just go ahead and click that let's just take our background away there in the module itself content scroll down background hit the trash can there we go now we've got a section right here with a perfectly centrally aligned 
or vertically centrally aligned element in it. If you want to fine tune that or adjust it, you can just go into the element and give it some negative or positive margin, whatever you want to do. Let's go to design, spacing, and say I wanted to bring it up by 50 pixels. I can give it minus 50 pixels at the top and as you see it scooted it up a little bit so you can do a bit of fine tuning like I say really easy to do good way of doing it so I hope you found that useful and enjoyed it if you have please like comment share and subscribe to the YouTube channel it really does let me know how useful my videos are if you're interested in web development take a look down below we've got some great free courses down there as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers so do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.